This is the plaintiff, Antonio Ruiz Jr. He says the defendant's unleashed no-collar dog attacked his dog in a dog park, and the irresponsible owner doesn't think he has any responsibility to pay his vet bills. He thought the vicious beast killed his dog, but he rushed him into surgery and was miraculously saved. His hand was bitten in the melee. He has no feeling in his finger, and the defendant's 100% responsible. He's suing for $3,000, the amount he's most definitely due. This is the defendant, Rodolfo Garcia. He says his pit bull, Havoc, is nice and a gentle dog, and it was the plaintiff's dog who antagonized him, and he was defending himself. He was very shaken by the ordeal because his dog is friendly and everyone loves him. Animal Control even told him that these things happen between dogs, and he feels this was just his dog defending his territory. He's accused of not taking any responsibility. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says that the defendant's dog uh, attacked his dog in the park without provocation, but the defendant says his pit bull, Havoc, is a gentle dog, and the plaintiff's dog was the antagonist. It's the case of raising Havoc. Thank you, Douglas. Antonio Ruiz, Jr., you are suing Rodolfo Garcia for $3,000 in vet bills. You're actually out more than that, but that's your statutory max because, according to you, um, his pit bull attacked your dog at a dog park. Tell me what happened. Well, we arrived at the dog park, as we normally did for the last five and a half years. Uh, the front area was packed, so we went to the back. We entered What's the, the front area? The, what do you mean? There's two different parks. There's a, they're adjacent One is to for other. small dogs and one is for large dogs. Correct, correct. Um, we you entered, have a small dog. We have a small dog. And but you went into the large dog we're park? We're always in the park, in the large park. We've spent Why five and a half years. Why do you do that? But he's always played with German Shepherds, Doberman Pinchers, Rottweilers. He's okay. What do his... the rules of the park say about which park you can? Does it, it say anything? It doesn't. No. No. Most people go in a small park if they're afraid that dogs gonna get trampled, or right. They... Is a small dog park smaller than the big dog park? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So go ahead. So we entered through the small park. My dogs did their business. We cleaned up, and we moved into the big park. We opened the gate. We went in. Who's I, we? Is the person with you? Was he there? Or is my he two dogs. Support? My two dogs. Your dogs. Was yes. he there or is he more support? He was at the park at the time. Okay. So you're, he's a witness? Yes. yes. Okay. Go ahead. So we entered the park. My one dog, Kalo, he went over, greeted two dogs. And I was getting ready to throw the, dog, the ball for Vela, who loves to chase the ball. Uh, Kalo moved on. He moved and ran across me. And as I was getting ready to throw the ball, I watched this black pit bull run along the fence in a stalking manner. He ran behind me and he ran up to my dog and just pounced right on top of him. Um, I didn't throw the ball, I threw the ball down, I went toward the dog, he came around, he pounced him a second time. He who? The came, dog? Uh, Havoc. The, he the pit bull. The pit bull pounced you, my dog a second time. Your pit bull is named what? Havoc. Well, it's, uh, it was uh, given to me from my cousin that moved to Texas to temporarily take care of him, but I was claiming he was my dog because he was under my care. Yeah, he's under your care. Yes. He's your dog for my legal purposes, but what's your dog's name? Oh, his name is Havoc. He's three and a half years old, so I didn't bother He changing. was named already? Yeah, he was named Because, you know, already. Havoc's not a great name for a defendant well, dog. Well, it's because he's pitch black. So? So, so they name him a disaster because, you know... Because what? Because he's black? I have no idea. Okay. So. I mean, I'll have an idea. It's because just, I've had cases where I've had a pit bull yeah. named Hitler and a plaintiff uh, dog was, remember, it was a, a, a poodle named Fluffy. Yeah. Okay? And that was pretty much written before it walked in, you know? And, and that's where the issue lies. So what happens? The pit bull gets hold of your dog. So after he pounced in the second time, I was already right there, ready to grab the dog. I reached for Havoc who had no collar on him. No collar? No collar. Why didn't the dog have a collar? He had a black harness, sir. I didn't see it. I All reached right. for anyway, the dog. Anyway, go ahead. I reached for the dog. I got nothing but hair. As soon as I missed, he latched right onto my dog's leg, which was trying well, to run away from him. He latched onto you? He latched onto my dog first. Oh, um, and then he latched onto you? I knocked the dog down, because I didn't want him to run with him in his mouth. And I reached into the dog's mouth to try to pull my dog out, who had his mouth wide open screaming. Mm -hmm. I ripped the tip of my finger off in his mouth. I screamed out, whose blanking dog is this? Um, I held the dog down, and then I screamed, Who, get your blanking dog. He came running over. He jumped on top of his dog, and he just started wailing on the dog in the face and on the side. I, re I went to the front of the dog. I tried to pull my dog out again. My, now my dog's biting me because his mouth is wide open, and he's being mauled. 
So then I went to the back of Havoc and started punching him as well. Some How other long people, did this go on? Almost 10 to 15 minutes. Are you serious? Yes, I am. 10 to oh, You don't think it went that on that long? No. Can you come up? Yes. Were, did you watch the whole thing soup yes. to nuts? Yes. How long did it take? I mean, I, I know it's an eternity for him, but was it really 10 minutes? It, I would say five to seven minutes. Yeah, I talk. don't think so. All right, so talk to me and tell me what happens. How does the dog finally unlatch? Um, so he was still on top of his dog. I basically gave up. Someone ran over and says, pull on his legs. So they were pulling on the pit bull's legs. And then uh, a bystander actually reached over put both his hands in the pit's mouth. Oh my God, you're all crazy. And, and opened Havoc's mouth. Everybody's sticking their fingers in a pit bull's mouth. Am I the only one who thinks that this is not a good idea? <laughs> no, you're and, not. Especially, I can understand your adrenaline running and you're trying to save your dog, but some third party comes yes. up and sticks both his hands into the... the... Yeah. And he actually pried his... Pried him open like How this. big was that guy? Because you guys are big. How big About was that size. guy? What was it? Big size hands? What was it? He was the size. pit bull whisperer? How did he achieve it? He just, he just, he, he was screaming his dog. He, he was saying, you're, my dog's going to die. You're killing my dog. Yeah. And the guy just, his name was Bruce. He came in and he just pulled his, and then, and then Tony Bruce, grabbed his dog out I said he was free. I reached over. I grabbed him. I walked over to the side. I put Kalo down. Um... I was bent over with my hands on my knees looking at the, his leg hanging out. Uh, someone called the vet. They said it was still open. So they're, they're waiting for me. He walked over and he said, my dog was okay till you got here. And that's the only interaction I had with that's him. That's it? That's what he said that's to you? That's exactly no, I'm what so he sorry. said to me. No, not a word like that. So then I said to other people, I said, could you please get his information? I have to leave. So I grabbed my dog. Uh, he was kind enough to watch my other dog so I could leave. I put my dog in the car, and I went to the emergency room. They were waiting for me. They the dog me... survived, right? The dog survived, yes. Okay, I'm so glad to hear that. And um, I have you... some pictures if you want to see them. Yeah, I do. All right. Okay, which dog is Kayla? Kalo is the brown-faced one. Kalo? Kalo. Kalo is the brown, well, the totally brown. Yes. This one. Yes. The one in the back. Yeah, yeah. that's him. Okay. What kind of dog? Jack Russell Terrier. So cute. Okay, what is this, a picture that's of your hand? That's a picture hand? of my, one of the bites in my hand. That's, oh. the, that's the pit bull, when I, the first bite I got. That's Kayla's leg hanging oh. out after surgery. There's a, I don't know if you can see the drain tube in that picture. Yes. That's the bite through my fingernail. That's him walking after. Okay, talk to me. What do you say happened? So, Dog's name is Havoc. Is, is the name itself, choosing the name, relevant in deciding which dog is the aggressor? No, the name has no relevancy. It could be named Fluffy and bite, some, bite someone. True statement, but they named it Havoc. Is it relevant? Maybe. <laughs> Talk to me. I think there's reasonable doubt there. Okay, I mean, but anybody have an opinion about this? No, no, not at all. It's a name. It's a name. Yeah, but you got to name a dog for a reason, right? No. You name him right. Fluffy, not because he's not Fluffy. Right. You should name him Fluffy. If you say, yeah, if you it's the same thing. Same, exactly. Going inside the courtroom. I'm not denying what happened. Some of it, my dog didn't physically bite him. He was, again, trying to save his dog. He got scratched a few times. He got scratched by the dog. I uh, quickly but ran the dog was attacking his dog. The dog was attacking his dog, yes. Okay. I quickly grabbed my dog. I don't I mean, about five or seven minutes, like you said. I got him down. Five minutes is not quickly. Five minutes is an eternity well, when you're... Well, after I took him off, I, I stood on the floor with him so he could calm down because I know his adrenaline was pumping. I, I carried him over Has to... Has anything the... like this ever happened before? No. Okay. So, um, you state that this has happened before. Where do you get that from? Um, I was there about six to eight weeks before. We were at the dog park. Uh, Havoc was there with his owner. And he came up to us. We were sitting on, there's a, like a dog toy kind of thing that people sit on. And my dog's sitting on my lap. He came up to us. He was, he was getting aggressive. I called him over. He walked him away. How was he getting aggressive? He was coming and snapping at my dog. Why would you bring your dog back then to the big dog park if that had happened with Havoc? That's the first time I ever saw him. I never saw him ever until the incident. Now, generally speaking, you're supposed to know of a prior incident to be liable. I'm here to tell you that you now know of this incident. I sure do. Your dog can't go to the dog park. And you're Just right. don't. 
okay? Because unless you just unless you're floating in cash and you don't care about people or dogs, don't. But now let's talk about that sign. What does that say? Use at your own risk. Dog owners are responsible and liable for actions and behaviors of their dog at all times. Okay, so what that means is there's no one free bite rule in this case. Because you guys are in a, in a place where this mayor, God bless him, uh, uh, well, the township has decided, and they put the mayor's name down there, that we're going to have what we call strict liability in the dog parks. Basically, if your dog mauls another dog, you're liable for the vet bills. Let me see the vet bills. <clears throat> How is the dog doing now? He's about 95% recovered. Good. Do you still bring your dog to the dog park? Yes, I do. May I make a suggestion? Sure. We stay in a small park. There we go. If, <laughs> if there's no pit bulls in the big one, we go in the big one. But why? Why even because, risk it? Because he plays with he's, he plays with German Shepherds. He plays with so all the dogs. So he has friends. He yes. has friends yes. in there. So he has Absolutely. friends in the dog park. He wants to be able to play with his Absolutely. friends. Absolutely. He Her, plays with my dog. Wait, Kalo's a bo Kalo is a boy. Yes. Yes. But he wants to be able to play with your dog, who's his friend. And yeah, which is an right. 80-pound Siberian Husky. Yeah. My dog. And I do notice. I'm noting here that there's nothing about small dogs must be in the small park and big dogs must be in the big they just do that for your benefit they're not what was the total of the vet bills for your dog it the total for the Kalo was thirty two hundred nineteen dollars and fifteen cents you're capped by the cap but um you weren't even suing for your bills for your finger and all that no yeah um yeah i'm uh, finding in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of the three thousand dollars and Your Honor, um, can I uh, say something? Yeah, you can. Um, he was harassing me around my house, driving around my house. Uh, I tried to ask my neighbor next door has cameras. He came in the black Porsche with well, What did he do when he went to your house? He's just driving around. He drove around, he parked in front of did my house. Did he do anything? Because it's a public street. Did he do anything? Well, he's never, I've never seen him around there. I've been living there for almost 12 years. Never seen him around there. Never seen that black Porsche. And the day of the incident, he had a black Porsche. But did he do anything other than drive around is what I'm asking? No, just her, I mean, I consider that So how do you know he's not looking to see if your dog is running loose or whatever, you know? He's not a detective. Did he get out of the car and go to knock on no, your door and stopped, harass you? He stopped at the neighbor of my house right in the front, and he was pointing at me through the car, and I saw him with my own two eyes. Am I right or wrong, Mr. Antonio? Don't talk to him directly in my courtroom. Go ahead. Sorry. I looked at him right in his eyes, and I kept walking towards the parking lot. And he just disappeared from there. And then another day, I'm coming home, and I see him passing by again. So now I'm starting to think now he's harassing me. And then I received the civil, I received the letter to go to court, which is fine. Maybe he's trying to make sure that's the house you live in. Well, um, he did get the report from the animal control saying that. that and I give, and after everything, and I went to the car, I spoke Why to. Why are you going to his house? I was c trying to confirm that he lived there because um, I felt that he might take off. I tried calling him. Two weeks after okay, the incident. Okay, we're done. $3,000 verdict for the plaintiff. Don't go to his house anymore. Well, not, not much question about the outcome of this case. The plaintiff prevails. He gets $3,000. Uh, Mr. Garcia, um, how do you, what's totally your opinion? understandable. I take full responsibility for the dog. Um, other than that, just yeah. harassment charge was just out of control. That's I mean, all. I guess the question is, if you take full responsibility, why didn't you pay him for his vet bills and not have to come well, to court? Well, after he threatened me on the voicemail, I decided not to talk to him anymore because it'll lead to something else. You know, so I just spoke to Adam Control, and then he j I just received a letter from court. Well, you know, you could have avoided coming to court altogether if you offered to pay for the bills. Yeah. You know, one other question. The dog is named Havoc. Why do you suppose your cousin named him Havoc? I have no idea. It's just the name. I mean, well, it's not because he's a destroyer. I have videos. He's a very... I pick him up. He's around uh, a lot of kids. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. He is a destroyer. Okay. Well, he is Zavok. All right. Sorry about that. that I mean, that's well, evidence in well, court. The, yeah, well, the name doesn't mean anything. It can mean a lot of stuff. All right. I mean, well, sorry. That's the way it goes in court. All no right. Problem. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. You must sign some documents. Here comes the plaintiff. How are you? Good, uh, you? Your dog is okay now, doing much better? My dog is doing fine I mean, that now. must have been a panic time. It was, it was something that I don't think anybody should ever have yeah, to I feel know. or I'm say. I'm a dog lover. I couldn't imagine that. that yeah. Very, very so chaotic. I feel very so chaotic very scene. sorry for you, but I'm glad you won. And it, I don't know why he didn't pay you. I mean... I don't know why he just didn't call me back. Yeah. He could have called me back. That's he all. He could have said he was sorry. I would have walked away. Absolutely. But he couldn't say he was sorry. Simple, I'm sorry. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Harvey? Okay, I mean, I'm being serious. I'm a huge dog lover, but 
judges should be allowed to consider the name because dogs are named for a reason. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.